Hello everyone, and uh, welcome. This is Reassembly, and I am Skyhawk7. Um, well, yeah, hello again. <laughs> Been a long break. Fortunately, stuff happened. Headset broke. And worked around that problem, kind of. It's still broken. I'm using a different headset and, and stuff. But anyway, I thought that uh, because I... You know, just wanted to take a break from PA and I have this game the alpha stage at least so I thought I might as well do this and this game is awesome I love it basically if you guys don't know reassembly is a alpha it's in alpha build it's coming out sometime in 2015 at least it's supposed to and the game's concept is basically a lot like that of Spore, kind of. So basically your concept is you go around and you attack enemy ships, a lot like the ones in the background. And once you destroy them, you take their resources and then you use them to improve your ship. It's it's a lot like Spore, except in the difference of there being evolution, there's actually ass assembly and construction, I guess, and other stuff. And yeah, I would have started playing this game brand new, like with you guys, but because of the mic, and only recently did I find a workaround, I just have it sitting, my headset sitting here on the bench. And uh, another, I'm wearing another headset. But anyway, um, <clears throat> I've already played this a bit, actually a lot. I lied. <laughs> yeah, but um, you know, I rec I want to start again because I mean, it's it's such a good game and it's in alpha, and it's still got like a bunch of months in development. It's gonna be an it's gonna be an amazing game when it comes out. I think it's in like it just they just finished the Kickstarter for it, and you can buy a better for it, and it and you get it in like November this year. You get the actual game in February, I believe, next year. But anyway, let's get started. So you, what we're gonna do here is oh crap, hang on, headset in the way. Okay. Damn it. <laughs> Intermission. <laughs> okay, there we go. Um, so anyway, basically what this does right here is this defines what your faction will be, because this game is based on, like, you have a faction and you start off in your faction, and from that faction, a fleet gets created, I guess, and your job is to go around reactivating outposts and stuff. It's kind of the main objective, I guess. Um, I don't know what color I want to go. Maybe red? That's not red. That's red. It also def this basically this color defines, like right here, what your bullets, um, what your bullets will be, like the cannon there. So it defines the color of your bullets and any subsystems, I guess, and not hull. So, thinking the color of my bullets, color of my bullets gonna be. Maybe I'm trying to look at the background to see if there are any factions that have the same color. Okay, so I'm gonna go. It also determines your stream color. Maybe just white. Maybe like that, like with a hint. Oh yeah, that I like that. That that's pretty good. Um, and then hull. <laughs> um, maybe like that a dark blue. Yeah, that looks good. What do you guys reckon? I can change it any time, so just make a suggestion of a color, I guess, if you really want. Oh wait. Wait. Okay, I think that looks good. Don't you reckon? Now let's get right. Let's go right into it. I might have to adjust the game details as I go, but this is basically how you start. Here's your outpost. Here's you. Let's open the map. So this is basically what you have to do. These right here 
are inactive stations which you have to activate. I'm here, this is the station I'm at. It's exploration, and as it says here, difficulty increases as you approach the center of the map because there are heaps of different factions that do crazy things. And, like, you get to the middle and all hell breaks loose because there are some really screwed up ships in there. But, um... You activate these stations and they provide spawn points as well as allies, so fleets of for you. Anyway, here's my guy. And this is what you start off with. So you go to you press three and then you go to your fleet. So these are the designs you can start off with. You start off with how many points? 150. So this defines basically um, uh, how many points you can put into building your ship. I always go this one because uh, it's just going to reassemble here. This has got three or so. Maybe I miscounted. Yeah, it's got three weapons, so it's helpful. We got a lot of engines. We we're small. We're really fast, so it's helpful. The, okay, this part down here is resources. Resources are helpful for us because the more resources we get, the more we can use it to upgrade and stuff. You don't use resources when you take damage. When you take damage, you just repair, which is really cool. Um, this is the mod this is the ship modifier. I'll explain right now. This is where you modify all your ship and stuff using. You can test them if you really wanted to, and export them and stuff. But I'll just um, yeah. And then you have credits. You normally get credits by doing something like going near a station. Just do this. A four. So you go near a station somewhere, and then you you turn in your resources and you get credits. So it's like trading. It's really helpful. Anyway, just quickly, I'm going to go to this. Show you something. This is useful. This is weapon bindings. And this, as it explains, helps you to bind stuff. Now what's cool about this is this. You can basically make your cannons that you can't fire them. I'm clicking. I can't fire. The idea is you're able to basically... Um, how do I put it? The, the turrets fire by themselves. Auto turrets, basically. It's really helpful sometimes, because then instead of focusing on one target, they can focus on more than one. Which is good. Anyway, I'm just going to go and do these objectives. It's time me to do. Fly near a spawner, a green diamond, to turn to trade R for C. Yeah? Okay, well. Oh yeah, there are different modes for stuff. There's... Okay, let me rebind stuff to show you what I mean by this. It's kind of complicated, but you'll get it eventually. So this is basically the mode where you press R and you can change between three modes. The normal one, which is your cursor rotates ship and gun orientation, which is good. So they, these are basically, you become strafe and then you forward back and, you know, everything. Then there's... Hmm, we got another ship. I think this is a mother ship. Hang on, one sec. Back to... Just Italian. No, this is an outpost. Hey, look, allies. Okay, but anyway. Um... So, yeah. And then there's... The keyboard rotates, so A and D. S and W. Move that. So... And then turrets, you can do stuff like fire back, which is really helpful. If you don't have enough, um, like if you're trying to backpedal and you don't have enough thrusters on the on the, the the front of your ship, so it's really helpful. And then you've got absolute controls, automatic rotation. So basically, you press S to go that way, you press well S to go that way, D to go that way, A to go that way, and W to go that way. And you can do like a mixture, a lot like. Like, you know, if you ever played like a Lego game, for example, that's what you do. And then you got stuff where you can shoot in any direction, which is helpful. But anyway, I'm going to stick with this one, because I like it the best. And, um, let's move. What we want to do... I'm going to keep the turrets on me for, for a second. And I'm just going to change this. This color is... It's actually working that well. 
I'm just gonna go black and a better. Like more of a. That's so much better. So now all my ships look like that. And my territory should show up as this color. Nah, whatever. I'll just leave it like that. Anyway, we're gonna head towards the station now. Now there are heaps of factions. And yeah, it's kind of ridiculous how many there are. The game is so good though. Like, you know, you, you should, I urge you all to check it out. Back it up maybe. It's really helpful. It's really good. Okay, so these is this is another faction. Now we can either see our guys are already going to war with them, so we can either fight this guy, or we can leave him be. I'm gonna fight him because I need the resources. All right, mine. Thank you. Thank you kindly. Okay, so once you get resources, you press U to upgrade, and then you can upgrade your points so you can add more stuff. You can also use it to buy other equipment. You only start off with limited and then you can buy stuff which is really good. I'm, I'm hoping my mouse shows up. Perhaps it's doing this weird thing where mouse doesn't show up whatever, no matter what. And there are several videos that I tried to show off things using the mouse and then later went back to realize oh my mouse didn't show because perhaps was being stupid. Okay. It doesn't matter that much at the beginning if you die. I mean, yeah, but basically you can take shots and look. Everything just regenerates. So, you can take all the shots in the world. It doesn't exactly seem to matter that much. As long as your core survives. I should explain that. This right here, this main centerpiece, is your core. This determines the orientation of your ship. And it also keeps it in one piece. If the core goes, your entire ship goes and becomes uh, nothing more than a bit of rubble in space. Or if you want to even call this space, maybe some sort of organic galactic space. Because this is like organic, which is kind of creepy but cool. This is the stuff that actually generates. It, it's, it's a lot like sport. Because you see these little ones? These come out of that. Of these, basically, of these. So the concept is that what happened is, um, I guess, I guess that eventually people went around collecting these small ones, and then because they had it on them, people killed each other, and then they got all theirs, and then they start to become massive blobs where you want to kill people instead of going around and individually collecting all this. You can choose that path, I'm pretty sure. There is a block you can get. I believe it's called the. Harvester? Yeah, the Harvester. Which I think just harvests everything in the area. And it might be good to add one to the ship. Maybe. I don't know. I've actually never used one of these before. I'm gonna get it now. Okay, so I'm just gonna upgrade this. Okay, that's a big thing. So I'm just gonna make a few changes here. Oh, it's not perfectly orientated. I hate that. Let's just... Let's just... Oh, crap. No! Hang on. Derpy derp derp. Let's just try this, yeah? I didn't save, didn't I? Oh, no, I did. There we go. Man, you can't even see it. So cool it is. So I don't know what the harvester does exactly. Um, do you have to bind it, maybe? Nope. Okay, so it's just, I guess, just harvest this, these little things. Yep. Larger draw range. Okay. That's nice and all. Paused it there. But, um, that's nice and all, but we're not going to go for that. It's nice to have it anyway, and it looks derpy, so we're just going to get rid of it. <sighs> Doom. And done. Done. Save. Okay, there we go. I forgot to I forgot to press save before and I was hoping it didn't delete it. Anyway, no more delete I We're gonna go to this station and activate it. It's really necessary. Oh crap, he's got shields. I'm not messing with him. I'm just gonna stay on this side of my of the station. You take that side, I'll take this one. Haha, <laughs> it's my station now. 
Oh, come on. Why does everything have shields already? Okay, kill it, kill it, kill it with fire. Okay, there we go. Okay, let's... Oh, I just turned in my resources for credits. Damn it. It's always annoying. You get near a station and you immediately takes your resources and gives you credits. And if you want to keep your resources, it doesn't exactly comply. Another thing to consider and to take in consideration is energy. Eventually, we'll have to buy power generators if we add more turrets. Which means that, yeah, because otherwise then our power will fluctuate, it'll fail, and then we won't be able to constantly fire our turrets at the rate we want it to. That does not look good. Neither does whatever the heck is sucking it stuff off it. Okay, it's that. We're going to run away from that. It's very big. Yeah, see, those those ships you do not want to mess with, but eventually they become as small as these ones. Um, yeah. I'm going to activate this. And pause. So, dinner, and a, a movie, and... And dishes later, and we're back, I guess. Man, so disoriented. Okay. <laughs> About that, I had dinner and everything, and we watched a movie. Edge of Tomorrow, pretty good. Didn't like it. Okay. Let's continue our adventures. <laughs> Man, that bolt. Okay, um. Ah, oh, I wasn't looking. Damn it. I was looking down and. And I got hit. Damn it, lost all my resources. I could probably go find the prick that took him away from me. Maybe. There he is. I think that's him. Yeah, that's him. Lasers and all. Don't get close to these guys. I remember that. There we go. Excuse me. Did anyone... Who told you you could rebuild yourself? No one. That's it. That's who. Let's upgrade a bit. We need more... Resources. Okay, we can do that. It's easy. <laughs> Easier said than done. <laughs> no. Okay. Let's go capture this base, shall we? Okay. Okay. Now don't tell. Oh, you took my resources! <laughs> you piece of crap. Oh, and now I don't know why I started to engage this guy. He's a little beyond my level, maybe. He's got shields, so. They got shields, they always usually be on your level. I'm hardly getting through. I probably, probably, oh no, there we go. One cannon down. Spinning out of control. Hit the shields, hit the shields. Come on, take them out, take them out. Take them out. The shields are like down, aren't they? They're not. There's another one. Is that mine? Yes, it is mine. This is my faction. This is my faction. Okay, upgrade it. <coughs> what I'm going to do at the moment is just com like f upgrade a lot. What are you fighting, mate? Oh no, nothing. I thought they were fighting each other. I'm like, I didn't know that they had wars within our own faction. Luckily, we're not. Where are we on the map? Oh, top. Man, last time I was at the right, and we spread like wildfire across the entire... Um, right, so we're gonna have to do the same at the top, I guess. Oh crap. Oh crap. He's a sniper. <sighs> Repaired. Can't snipe when I'm like right here, can you? <laughs> okay, no. No. Back away. <laughs> Space inertia. It can be your downfall 
or it could be your salvation. What a sniping little <laughs> punk. Jeez. I was looking for the words within my not level, but within within my allowed range of vocabulary that I could say to describe that. Boosters activate! Oh, stupid drones. You know what's also good? Adding more DPS. Oh, yes. Okay. Did we just enter, like, snipers passing or something? What I reckon is we'll take these sections, right? Okay, let's not engage him. Oh. Oh, oh hey, how you doing? Good, that's good. Oh. Oh. <laughs> His core just got snapped. Okay, so I need a bit more energy. There's a lot of bad voodoo here. Jeez. Bad mojo. Run. Okay, station. S Hello. Oh, turret firing at me. Haha, <laughs> I've got shields. That's right, get sniped. Excuse me? Okay, there we go. There we go. I need now, what I need now is probably this. I need to go. Three? Yeah, three. Okay. Man. Oh, oh I said. Uh, okay. We wanna just do a quick bit of updates. One of them, including which is the main one, is that we want to get some containers in here. The first thing I want to do increase our firepower. And I'll add some more containers. Oh wait. Oh come on. It was perfect. Okay, there we go. <clears throat> Hopefully we have enough energy to fire these. Yes, we do. Now the cool thing about adding more turrets like this is simply this. You can change your binding to do this. Now, this is a little overpowered, so we're just going to stick like this. Because constant fire means that you don't have the risk of missing every single shot. You can shred targets quite literally. Not every single bullet is going to destroy one block. It's going to easily puncture through. I'm going to just keep upgrading while we do this. And there's another. Blue. I don't know exactly what color it is. Blue and something. Oh, hey, look. Drone. Oh, wait. Is this what I think it is? There's a particular faction that I really hate that has the ability to just teleport. Constantly. It's not fun. Excuse me. Get wrecked on. So you can't get in their shield without giving away your resources. I don't want to give away my resources, but I have no choice, I guess. I guess I'm helping out. Serving the cause. Oh, crap. Oh. Oh. Wow, we got him. I didn't think we'd get him. But we got him. <laughs> got him. Oh, we have drones. Nice. Oh, maybe they're not ours. I don't know. Yeah, they get, get lost. S screw off. Run away. Oh, lost your back end. Oh, lost your forward end. Oh, lost everything. Oh, you dead. You dead. We need 81. See, now it's starting to pick up. Is this ours? Oh, yeah, it is. I read that target. What the hell? Is oh, these guys. I hate these guys. Pulsar weapons. We're not going to engage them. Please do not engage us. We're friendly. Just going to steal your resources and head on through. What's, what's so bad about that? Please do not engage us. Okay. Okay. Yes, okay, we're trespassing in your territory now. Please, just leave us alone. 
Box people, help us. Shredded. Excuse me. Oh. Okay. I'll just upgrade again. I'm gonna keep running. It's all about the upgrades. Okay. Alright. Alright. Looks like we got ourselves quite a, um... Engines activate. <laughs> Damn it. So close. So close. It was, it was right there. I could feel it. Oh man, those things are ridiculously stupid. Okay. This guy repairing himself by the pieces of his fallen comrade. Yes, go for him, not me. He's just picking up his own pieces. Well, little cheat. Okay. These things are helpful, but I don't think we can get them yet. We need to get generators. Speaking of that, generators. Yay. Okay, we got some generators, which are helpful. Which will help a lot, actually. So very soon, once um, once we upgrade enough, I'm gonna design my own ship. I might actually use this ship because it has a good starting design. Maybe. It has a good expansion design at least. I think these are the no they're not. Well they might be. I... Oh they are. See that? You shoot them and they just teleport. I hate these guys. Oh, you stole my resources. You did too! Excuse me. How can I say it nicely? Leave me alone. <laughs> That's pretty nice, I think. Please? Uh, someone's gonna get shredded. If you don't, leave me alone. The idea is to be quick with these guys. You can kind of take them out after their first teleport. I think they've got like a small-ish cooldown. Maybe it's just a chance to teleport when they want. You know it's great to get? Missiles. Because if there are targets that don't have that heavy of weapons, then you can... then those missiles do very high damage to a specific target. The only problem is, like I said, you gotta actually get like past their turrets. So if they have defensive turrets that just shred the missiles before they can get close. If you have a lot of them, maybe one or two will hit, but then they just start repairing themselves before your next volley can even launch. So it's kind of a you use them to kind of scare people off. Intimidate people. Because intimidation is a big thing in survival in anything. If, if it's survival of the fittest, intimidation is key. Oh wait. Okay, so I completely lost track of objectives. I was too busy. Grinding, I guess? <laughs> anyway. What am I gonna do? Okay, so you see my energy? How it's like fluctuating but staying. Okay, missiles. Okay, that's not good. And a lot of defense turrets. We have to outrange this guy. While staying close. Ah! I got sniped by that big guy. Who's chasing me down. Oh, well, oh. It was gonna work. If I didn't start reassembling. Okay, reinterfacing. Where am I? There I am. Wow, what kind of ship is that? <laughs> it's two turrets and a core. It's such a great ship design. The guy gets bonuses. Ah, the, when these guys attack you in groups and they swarm you, they, sh they, sh they should just call them swarmers. Maybe they're those things, the, the, the drones from um, Stargate Universe. They're like the drones that swarmed 
like the seed ships and, and blow them to bits. All they needed was one ship. That's all they needed. Because those drones defended their main control ship. If you destroy the control ship, you destroy them, but the drones aren't going to let you near the control ship now, are they? And they just give you an invitation while they're at it. Oh, see, like that. When I teleport, not that far away, and you're tracking still, and, and you're still tracking them, it's easy. Oh, who wants me to recruit an ally? I don't have the credits for it. Oh, okay, I thought that was a ship. I was done. I was about to freak out. Okay, they are hostile. Let's just move on. They're chasing me. Station, help. Hey, you can take my resources if you just help. Oh, fine, don't take them. Let's see if I can. They're still chasing me? I don't know. It's the one thing. Sometimes they're relentless when chasing you. Just to the ends of the map. To say universe. Eh, there's a map. Okay. <clears throat> We're gonna head towards this one. If you saw my mouse. Perhaps don't screw up and just then get rid of the mouse. Even harder. Okay. Engaging. Okay, something very big just fired those railgun shots. Oh. Something very okay. That battleship. <laughs> okay. Whew, take my resources. Take those ones near you too. Oh, grenades. Crap, man. This is hostile territory right here. Yeah. Go away, drones. Wait, hang on. Let's see. Where am I on the map? See, <laughs> if there are ships that big out here. It's only going to get worse. It's part of the station. Screw off. You took all my resources, you... <laughs> Alright, we need to recruit a ship. That's what it's telling us to do. And then release them. Waste some of our credits, in other words. We'll just stay here and wait for it to build, it, uh, build a ship. It should. Stations usually do. They build their own fleets, I think. Maybe they might not sometimes. I believe that's a fleet module, or maybe it's a large cargo container. I don't even think you can get large cargo containers. There's drones. There's drones on it and missiles. Nice. There's no music. I don't like this. Maybe it ran out. might have ran out in my last playthrough too. I don't know, because I was too busy wrecking things. Oh. These are my resources, and I'm gonna use them! <laughs> okay. Map. I, I reckon we should just go across the border, like this way. Wait, is that a ship? Yes it is. Hey, I'm recruiting you, and then let you go. Congratulations. Okay, let's go. <laughs> I can't wait till you can actually command ships in that. Hopefully they'll have something like that in the battle. That would be so cool. Looks like we discovered a new... No, we didn't discover a new enemy. Did we? Hang on. Nope. Reverse these guys before. Music. Fine. 100 credits for discovering a station which is going to rebuild itself and, well, an outpost, I guess. It's not a station, in my eyes. It's only a station if it is useful. <laughs> it doesn't just sit out there and act as a spawn point. I'm not dying as much as I did last time. I was, it was really hostile last time. I don't know if it's random or if it's always the same amount of hostile. hostile where you are. It was pretty hostile. There were thousands of those drone ships. Alright, so let's grab our loot. That is a big ship. Well, it's not big, but... Okay, it's got railguns. Let's just leave. 
These guys are like useless. I don't get it. What's up with them? Fire on him. Thank you. Okay. Hey, there's a little guy. Let's get him. Oh, there's a little guy behind us too. My resources. Man, that turned fire. <laughs> get turned on. Okay. Where are we heading? Oh. I pressed the button and then it sounded like an, like an achievement or something. I don't know. From like Xbox. Like what the hell? Okay. And luckily this stuff doesn't hurt you unless you're traveling at really high velocities. It does act as a bullet worker. Bullets pass right through it. Would be helpful if bullets pass through it. Thank you. Feel it. There you go. Okay. Hi, how you doing? Good? That's good. We can actually get this guy fast enough. Oh, we killed each other. See? If bullets traveled faster, that probably wouldn't be. That would be less likely. Just gonna travel at max speed here. FTL. Ah. Oof. Yeah. Gotcha. Mine now. Okay. Let's get a vengeance on one of these guys. No, let's not. Ha, I was kidding, I was joking, I was joking. Uh -huh. Damn it. Okay. Take three of leaving this outpost and trying to get another one. Okay. Wait, is that the same me? Is that me? Man, that thing looks... That is mine. Let's get a friend. Come with me. Let's go. Straight up ahead. Let's go around it. What did I discover? Or maybe I just went somewhere new. Rubble, that's not a good sign. Means there's either a long lost conflict or there was a conflict very recently, which means the victor may still be around. I think we're seeing the next. No, we're not seeing that. Okay, good. There's gotta be another station around here. Or maybe it only... Okay, let's do this. Let's go this way, mate. Turn around, mate. Let's go. Let's go this way. Okay. <sighs> keep going, keep going, keep going. Don't worry about the massive amounts of enemies that are in this sector. Through. Oh, thanks for the resources, I'm bailing. Oh crap, he's like faster than me. Okay, there we go, full throttle. Man, velocity is annoying sometimes. Let's not worry about him. We lost that fight when we missed. Man, there's a lot of blue. Blue's very small too. It's tempting to just stay here and just engage all these guys. Maybe not. Oh. Double kill. Is that my guy? No, it's not. <laughs> and it looks like he's shielded. Okay. Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. Keep booking it, keep booking it. Man, <laughs> tough break. Oh, come on. Screw off. I think we lost our little friend. Yeah, we lost our little friend. That sucks. 